This is honeysuckle. It's an invasive species that's taking over a lot of our forested areas here, not just in Missouri, but a lot of parts of the Midwest. And we are here today with Keith with the Department of Conservation. We're gonna be spraying all of this forested area with a drone, with a J-150, and trying to knock this out so it's no longer an invasive species. Now, I'm not much of a uh, conservationist or an agronomist when it comes to uh, these kind of species. You know, I'm, I know a lot about problems in soybean fields and corn fields. Can you give us a history? How about a history of sure. honeysuckle and why it's a problem, where it's at, uh, when to spray it, and how you guys try to control it? Sure. So bush honeysuckle, uh, it's a non-native invasive to Missouri, the Midwest, the United States. It was originally brought over here from Asia back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, basically people put it around their houses and in their garden beds. And the reason it's so invasive, it can be really aggressive like in your woodland, forest, ecosystems. Um, once it starts, it can spread really, really fast and outcompete a lot of your native tree species, a lot of your grasses and forbs, mm -hmm. um, which really impact not only um, the natural ecosystem, but can impact your wildlife species as well. So for deer, they need a lot of forage, bedding cover, um, that's something that bush honeysuckle doesn't provide. Mm -hmm. um, same with turkey nesting habitat. Um, when this stuff takes hold, there's no herbaceous cover on the forest floor. So it shades it out. It shades it out. Yeah. Yeah. It basically, like I said, can take over forest. Um, there's several different ways you can control it. Uh, here today, uh, we're taking a kind of a different approach that most people um, in the past haven't done. Uh, today we're basically doing an aerial spraying on the bush honeysuckle. Uh, it's the middle of November and basically all of our native tree species are dormant at this point. Also been noticing is, you know, all of our leaves are pretty much either gone or almost gone on our trees, but honeysuckle is still very green. Exactly, yep. By doing this, this aerial spraying today with the drone, we're not impacting our native tree species and we should um, basically take care of the bush honeysuckle in the understory. Yeah, so. and there's typically, what about a two week window in the yeah. fall, whenever this is still green, but our trees have lost leaves, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. We got a one to two week period. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of right in that sweet spot right now. Yeah, So. yeah, timing is critical on the ag side. I mean, for fungicide, for herbicide, whatever. Timing is critical, not just there, but it sounds like here, Definitely. even more so probably. Definitely. doing today is 10 gallon per acre uh, with glyphosate AMS uh, using J150 trying to be about 15 feet over the canopy uh, and traveling pretty slow 16 feet, feet per second which is what about 10 miles an hour uh, so hoping to blow it down through the canopy um, to knock out all this honeysuckle um, I'm a little nervous honestly because it's the first time we've done this with a with a drone and the LIDAR on the 150 is really good, mm -hmm. uh, but there's no leaves on a lot of these trees. Uh, so hoping it all works out well. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Moment of truth, you're about to take off with the 150. Our parameters are 300 microns, 10 gallon per acre, 16 feet high, or feet, feet per second, speed, right? 15 feet over the canopy. You feel confident? I think it'll do well. We've done some testing on this, so worked well last time, but we're gonna see how it does with the leaves all off the trees and uh, spraying actual chemical, so. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, ready to take off? Send it. All right. Right up and over it, unless that was you. That, that was, was the drone. That was not me. Okay, good. I did not touch it. All right, so we're gonna try to do all autonomous flight. You can see that canopy movement way down underneath the drone.
So this is the first time that you've done it with a drone. Uh, actually, first time that we're doing it with a drone too. You said you've had aerial before with helicopters and airplanes. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you wouldn't do that on a 15 acre patch, would you? Or... No, we were doing larger acres with that, you know, yeah. 100 to 200 acres at a time. Mm -hmm. So before drone application, how were you guys, or how are you managing honeysuckle right now? A lot of it was by manual labor with backpacks. So we'd landowners would hire contractors or the conservation department would hire contractors and we'd come in with backpack sprayers mm -hmm. this time of year again and basically foyer spray the honeysuckle. Yeah. There's other, you know, if it's smaller, you can actually pull it straight out of the ground. They have a really shallow root system so you can pull it out if it's small. For economic purposes, um, a drone spraying is probably your best bet. So the backpack uh, sprayers, it's, a, it's contract companies, it's a bunch of guys with backpacks walking through the brush, spraying. I'm sure that's not cheap. It gets pretty expensive. You know, you're probably looking at a hundred bucks an acre for, hundred bucks an hour for somebody coming in and foyer spray honeysuckle. So how many acres are we doing today? We're doing about 15 acres. 15 acres a day. You probably wouldn't just bring one guy with a backpack to right. do this job, would you? No, you'd probably bring a full crew of, you know, probably three to five people out here. Bad situations like we're standing in today, it could take them quite a while. So best case scenario, a couple of days. Probably. With five people mm -hmm. at a hundred bucks an hour, should say 10 hours a day, $5,000 per day, about 10,000 bucks. Is that, probably. that sound right? Probably, yeah, pretty close. Holy cow. We just finished up. Three hours, we're gonna be in and out. We got it here at 12 o'clock. It's 2.30 right now. By three o'clock, we're gonna be down the road. Three hour job for 15 acres of honeysuckle at a 10 gallon rate with a J150. Now, we're doing this one for free because this is kind of a learning experience for us and for uh, Missouri Department of Conservation. But we have guys doing the same work for $80 an acre. That means in three hours, that's $1,200 to do a job just like this and a job not only that you can earn a lot of money with the drone with, but you can do way more efficiently. Backpack crews would take two days at minimum, according to Keith, to do the same job. We're doing it in and out in three hours. Now we're not gonna know the efficacy, meaning how well that we actually kill the honeysuckle until next spring. Here in a couple weeks, honeysuckle is gonna naturally lose its leaves. And so we have to wait till next spring, green up. And if honeysuckle does not green up, that means we did our job very well. As far as how the job went, the drone ran just fine. I was pretty concerned with no leaves on a lot of these trees. I thought LIDAR was going to pick it up. It ran very, very smooth. Stay tuned until next spring. We check back in on this plot here. If you guys want to see this for yourselves live, reach out to us. Let us know. Thanks. <laughs>